it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to get the software package set up for your Pro Color UV DTF printer. So this is a two-part process. It had there are two different softwares that you are going to need to install. Um, I am going to give you links to them in the description below because they do update from time to time. So make sure you check that out. First thing before you get started, you do want to make sure that your printer itself is set up, powered on, and that the ethernet cable from the back is plugged into your computer. Once you do that, we are gonna get ready to install the entire software package. I will tell you, I got a couple of warnings throughout this. I was a little hesitant at first, like what are these, but um, there has been no issue since, and but I do want you to know that just basically proceed at your own caution. You may see things like, you know, this is an app that's not um, known to your computer, like do you want to run it or not, things like that. You shouldn't be getting anything about um, virus warnings or anything like that, but you may get uh, some alerts that it is a not a known app and it was downloaded from the internet, those types of things. So let's get ready to get started. I will see you over there. Okay, so you will find the downware, the software download package. There's a link in the description below of this video. And when you get to it, you are going to have the option here to download. So that's just going to bring you to a G drive folder where you can download. The zip file will download as one file. So you'll want to right click and then click extract all. Now don't just download where you, it defaults to click the browse button and then you're going to browse on your computer to that file folder that you made for all of your pro colored software stuff. So remember that's on your C drive. So you'll want to go to your C drive and then navigate to the folder. So once you get to that folder, mine's kind of buried here, pro colored software package, select the folder and then click extract. And that's where this extraction will go. This is just going to take a minute. I did speed this part of the video up just a little bit, but not by much. So once that opens, then you'll have this software package and this is where everything is going to be. This is going to be your new like home base. We are really going to focus on the file folder called number two software and driver. So double click that and you're going to open that and there are three more folders inside. The first one we are going to work with is this print exp. So you're going to extract that one as well and repeat that process to select the folder to to save it. You do want to save it to that exact same folder that we worked on that we that we saved the original zip files to as well. So go back to your C drive, go back to your pro colored uh, software package, select that folder and this will also extract into that folder. This just makes it easier so that everything is all in the same spot. Once that is complete, you are going to go back to your same folder again. Now, you'll see that you have that extracted print exp folder, so double click on that to open it, and now is when we are going to start installing that. So slide down until you see print exp, and you want the application, you're gonna right click and click show more options, and then from there, select the option to create a desktop shortcut. Okay, at this point, you're going to leave that window and go to your control, look for the control panel. So open up the control panel when you find it and click on view network status and tasks under network and internet. So when you get to this spot, what you need to look for is the ethernet connection. If you don't have it, that means you don't have your UV printer plugged in or powered on or both to your computer. So make sure you do that. Then click the ethernet option and from there, you're gonna click Properties. When you click the Properties button, you're going to get another panel. You're gonna click the fourth option down for Internet Protocol version TCP, and you will select that. And then this box will pop up with all of these empty fields. You need to enter a whole bunch of numbers into each of these fields. And I am going to put that screen up with those numbers uh, for you to copy. I'll leave it up for you know a couple of seconds so you can copy it. I do also have a link in the description below where it will lead you to a blog post that will allow you to uh, copy and paste those numbers as well. So you make sure you're on, use the following IP address and then enter these numbers. That last box you will leave empty and then just click OK and keep clicking OK and close to close out all of these boxes. You're not gonna get any type of confirmation, but it will all save there. 
If you launch the software now, you'll probably get an error. So go back to your main folder and from there, click test chart. And then you're going to extract extract the file for Microsoft Common Runtime Libraries. I'm gonna tell you, this may come as, once it's extracted, as all in completely different language. I actually had kind of some guesswork here that I was doing. Um, so my suggestion here is to watch where the prompts are. Watch what buttons I am pushing, and I'm gonna put this in slow motion so you can kind of see, but I'm just progressing through and then it is going to install. So once it gets to the end of the installation, you will get another button. Again, you're not going to be able to read it. I did actually reach out to ProColored about this and they basically said, we can't fix it, which I don't think is a very good answer, but uh, it will eventually work. I will tell you this screen will sit there for a minute. Once this finishes up, you will then be able to go back to uh, pro colored and when you relaunch it, it will be in English. That's the only time you will have to do all of this. Okay, so now it is time for the second part of the software installation, which is the pro rip software. So I'm going to do a second video on that part of the installation and I will put the link for that in the description below or you can click the video here at the end. All of the links for all of the software downloads, all of the TX800 bundles, everything like that, um, including the full step-by-step -step written instructions for the setup guide, all linked in the description below.